Hi everyone, welcome back. This video is going to be a basically a review demo type of a video. In a haul that I did, I think it was, yeah, it was last month, it was my birthday haul, I had shown you guys the NYX Prismatic eyeshadows. And so because I got um, a bunch of them, I didn't want to swatch them in the video just for, I guess, time purposes. I said that I would go ahead and do a separate video on that. So that's what this video is. I'm going to actually do the eye tutorial first. I'm just doing the eye using these NYX Prismatic shadows and then um, I'll go ahead and I'll talk about it a little bit and then do the swatches for the other colors that I didn't use. But um, basically this is the look that I came up with. I absolutely love the way that it came out. It's just very bright, it's just spring and summery. I, I just, I love it. So, um, I don't know if I want to do my hair at the end, so just in case I don't, <laughs> um, let's just go ahead and get started. So, we're going to start with our um, Too Faced Shadow Insurance, and then just take it all the way from the lash line to the brow bone. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and take the Revlon, and a lot of these items too that I'm using are in the, um, are in my little new series that I'm doing, the In and Out Declutter series, so I'm trying to obviously see what items I like, which ones work for me, and stuff like that, and um, yeah, so a lot of the items I'm using is from that. So this is the Revlon um, Va 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 Bloom, it's the uh, Cream Shadows. And I'm taking this like light pink nude color right here at the end and I'm just gonna put that on my lid all right next we're gonna go in with our first um, NYX prismatic eyeshadow and it is in the color girl it's in the color Girl Talk. And it's just a very pretty, like just light pink champagne color. So I'm gonna take my MAC 230, I think it is. I can't even read, no, 290, two, it's 230 or 290. It's just a flat, it's a flat brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the inner, like one third of my eye. And when I use most shadows, I like pat it on first so there's, there's just less fallout instead of swiping I like to pack on the eyeshadow and then I guess you know once I feel that it's on there I'll I'll go ahead and um, swipe it a little bit but for the, pretty much for the whole part I just pack it you know pat it and then we're gonna go ahead and flip that side over the same brush and we're gonna go in with the next shadow which is golden peach this color is so pretty and it's basically that. It is like a like peachy pink, very like corally color. It's just uh, it's very pretty. So I'm gonna go on and we're gonna put it on the rest of the lid. And just like overlap it where the other shadow left off. Now I did try using this shadow wet as well, and I'll go ahead and I'll show you what it looks like. I don't think it makes I mean, it makes a little bit of a difference. I think it makes the color a little bit more um, just like vibrant. I mean, it already is already on its own, but it just, it brings out the color actually more. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that in a second. You just take, you know, any kind of like setting spray. Um, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter and just spray your brush. And then go in with that same color. I want to see if you can see the difference. So you see it without it. And this is with it. So like I said, I think it just deepens the color a little bit more. But I'm also fine too, you know, just without wetting it. So. But I wanted to just test it out to see how, it, you know, how it worked wet or dry. Next, I'm going to go in with the uh, like a crease or a transition color, and I'm using the Hoola um, Benefit Bronzer because this is um, one of my items in my 4x4 challenge, and I don't want to show you it, so <laughs> just 
just have to, I mean, I think everyone knows, but the whole, just take any kind of like a matte, you know, brown and just put that in your crease. Blend out any harsh lines and bring it up a little bit. I don't know if I said I'm using the E40 Tapered Blending Brush by Sigma. Next we're going to take a, just a small, another small fluffy brush. I'm using the Sigma Blending E25. And we're going to go in with the color Purple Heart. I mean these, these shadows are beautiful. They're very, very, you only need, you know, especially with this because we're just doing like the outer V type, you know, the outer V area. You only need a little bit. And just go in the outer V, like in that little socket area, bring it down a little bit and then just swipe it in just very gently. Now that we have in there, we're going to go back in with that E40 brush, no additional product, and just go right above the purple and you want to just blend it out. The next project that I'm going in with, which is from the In or Out project that I'm doing, the declutter video, the declutter project, is the L'Oreal Hip Cream Eyeliner and this is in the color 945 Truth. And I'm going to take just any kind of a you know eyeliner brush, very you know small, a gel eyeliner brush, and I'm going in with the Sigma E05. And you just want to you know line your um, your top line, and then give it a wing. I hope I'm saying in camera. Okay, so that's that. Then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. I think it's e.l.f. Yeah, the e.l.f. Shimmering Eye Pencil, and it's just a purple color. It has like a little bit of glitter in it. And I'm just going to go ahead under my and put this on my uh, my lower lash line. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and then go in with the Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. This is a sample I have. I like the formula, but the brush is ginormous. I mean, uh, it's just so big. <laughs> it's just a very, very big brush, and it's, you know, you do get a little bit of transfer like underneath and on top because it is such a gigantic brush. But I do like the formula, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. All right, so I applied mascara on the top and lower lashes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with some I'm going to use the highlighter. I'm going to use a highlighter. By, this is by Physicians Formula in Translucent Pearl. And I'm going to go in, if I can open it. <laughs> oh, seriously. So, oh, so that's that. I'm going to take a very tiny little brush, which I'll use, let's see. I'll use the Sigma lid, with the shader lid by E56. So it's just a very tiny little tip. And I'm going to go in when, in the inner corner because I always have to do that. I just, I don't know, I just like the way that it looks. So go into your inner tear duct area and put some in that as well as highlight your brow bone. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and go in with that brush that we use for the purple, which I use the uh, E25 blending. And I'm just going to just right where that purple is just just go over it a little bit more if you feel like it needs to be a little bit deep you know darker I usually do it you know I usually go always going last and just go over it again real quick so So that is the final look now this is what it looks like this now I did this tried this out yesterday and I added black eyeliner to my um, my lower lash line. 
I liked it, but then my husband said that it took away from the teal eyeliner on top. So I'm going to leave it alone and everything, but obviously you can always add, you know, black liner to your waterline if you want, but I'll zoom in. I don't know, I just really liked it. Like I said, I just thought it gave a very springy summer summer look. I just hold on, I'm chopping off my head. Okay. Um, I really enjoy, I don't know, I just really liked it. I really liked the way it came out. So I hope you liked it too. All right, now for the swatch part. Um, I was just gonna go ahead and swatch them real quick for you. Sorry, I'm just doing a little cloth. <laughs> I'll swatch them real quick <clears throat> so you can see the other shades. I just looked online right now. Um, at Ulta and there were 12 shades and um, if you saw it in the haul um, I had mentioned that I did get the 12 shades of them they are I believe I think there's the $5.99 is $6.99 but NYX always has through Ulta they always have the buy one get one half off I wish I've gotten I got it at that uh, price I didn't so <laughs> Um, but yeah, so if it's something that you obviously are interested in, wait for the sale because, you know, they do do the buy one, get ha uh, buy one, get one half off a lot. I'll just go over real quick the ones that I just put on my eyes. So again, this is Girl Talk. And like I said, it's just a very, like, light, light pink champagne type color. The next one is the, um, oop. Golden Peach, and it is, it's just, like I said, a peachy pink color, almost like, like I said, a coral. The third color I used was the, what is that, Purple Heart. Alright, now the ones that you haven't seen yet. I'm going to do them on my hand, it's a little bit easier. <laughs> so there's Mermaid. Beautiful. It's like, yeah, it's like a mint, like a mint color. Very, very pretty. The next one is Frostbite. And it's just a nice, you know, white color. But it has like that opal essence, like that opal, uh, like when you turn around and get like little hints of purple in it. Very pretty. Next color is Fireball. And this is just a very nice, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. It's like a bronzy, like just like a red bronzy color. So pretty. Next we have Jaded. And it's like that hunter green. So, oh, they're just, they're, they're beautiful. They're really beautiful. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next is Bedroom Eyes. Which is just like a metallic brown. These are all like metallic shades, but they're, they're meant, I guess, to, um, like almost come off like as, as foil shadows, but they're all like high pigmented uh, metallic shades. The next color is liquid gold. And it's a gold color, but has that, uh, that like copper in it. Where this is like, has like, this probably has like more, I guess, red to it. It has like more red. This is like more, like has that copper. Very pretty. Now the next three shadows, I can't open up and show you because unfortunately during shipping, they got completely messed up. So I'll try to show you through the pan, but I can't open it, everything will fall out. This one is Smoke and Mirrors. And I'm so annoyed because it's such a mess. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. It's such a mess, they all broke. Does anybody know how you can, it, um, like, I guess to pack it back in? Oh gosh, look how beautiful that is though. 
Do you just add, um, oh gosh, it's going everywhere. <laughs> like alcohol to it and then like uh, pack it back in? Let me know. Let me know if anybody knows how to do that or if you can do that with these. <sighs> but it's obviously just uh, like a silvery, oh gosh, just like a silverish gray color. Beautiful. The next one is blue jeans. Uh, this one, yeah, this one didn't break, but the whole thing came out at once. I don't want to, I'll have to be careful. That is blue jeans. Just a very pretty, oh, it's just basically a blue jean color. Exactly, but just metallic. <laughs> and then the last one I can't open up. This is tin. Wow, this is such a mess. Oh my gosh. So upsetting. <sighs> this is just a very light, light silver color. So those are the 12 shadows. NYX does buy one, get one half off. So I would definitely wait if it's something, you know, if these eyeshadows are, you know, something that you want to go ahead and get. I think they're beautiful. I mean, especially if you can get them for buy one, get one fifty percent off. I think they're worth it. Like I said, they're very highly pigmented. I mean, you saw me put them on my eye. I use them wet or dry, but like I said, I mean, for me, just using them dry is fine. But if you just want a little bit more of like the color to cut, pop up a little bit more, then you can go ahead and wet it. Um, but they do. They give on that like foiled effect and stuff, but very metallic, and they're just they're they're beautiful. I mean, here's some on my arm, but those are the ones that you already had seen. But these are beautiful. They're very, very creamy and stuff. And I actually, when I did my makeup yesterday, I think I put it on like at 11.30 in the morning. I didn't wash my face till like 12.30 at night. And my eyeshadow looked exactly how it looked, how I put it on in the, in the morning. So, you know, like I said, if it's something that you guys are, you know, looking for, if you're looking for like metallic or like sort of like foiled um, eyeshadows that look like foiled eyeshadows, I would definitely pick them up, but wait until they go on for buy one half off because they're, uh, yeah, I believe they're permanent colors, so they're not going anywhere. But again, these are the colors. They're beautiful. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this demo, review, tutorial type of a video. Leave me your comments below. Let me know, you know, what you thought of it. Let me know how you like my eye look. I'm really curious because I really, like I said, I just reminded me a very springy summary. I really liked it. But, um, you know, let me know if you guys have any of these shadows. How do you guys like them? I hope you guys are having a great Friday. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. And that's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye. Mwah.